So we talked about the transportation of oxygen. This is the transport of CO2, which is actually written as with a little two, right? CO2, carbon dioxide. And so carbon dioxide is the waste product, remember, of cellular respiration. We, this is what we have to breathe out. And that cellular respiration is what produces energy. So this is how we get rid of um, our waste product of CO2. So remember that CO2 also diffuses across the membranes. And so its partial pressure is also significant because it, there needs to be a difference in the partial pressure in order for diffusion to take place. So it is transported in three ways in the blood, okay? It can be dissolved directly in the blood plasma. So that is like it's in solution, it's in water. The blood plasma is primarily water. Um, this is about 5%, right? It can also be bound to hemoglobin, but luckily it doesn't bind the heme portion, so it does not compete with oxygen. So there's no competition for that binding of CO2 and um, oxygen. It actually binds to the globin. So this is about 10%, and different textbooks have slightly different numbers, that's okay. And then when we look at um, the majority, so is actually transported as bicarbonate ions. And so you remember that we did um, talk about when carbon dioxide combines with water, it produces a weak acid called carbonic acid, and then that dissociates into hydrogen ions and bicarbonate ions. And this is actually really important because this is a buffer system. So I'm gonna write that as a buffer system. So it actually helps to maintain proper blood pH if there are other acids or bases in your blood, for example. So if we look at that buffer system, CO2 combines with water, and I can draw my arrows like this, and I can combine my arrows like this. Oops, HCO3. So this is the bicarbonate ion, that HCO3. And so if, for example, there is an excessive amount of hydrogen ions in solution, say if you, um, one way you can get this is if you burn, for example, um, lots of fats and you get uh, ketone bodies um, or proteins, and that can cause a shift so that this chemical reaction will go in this direction and it will actually remove hydrogen ions from solution. And then if your blood becomes too basic, it will actually shift in this direction. So I'm gonna write those in there using a different color, those shifts. Um, let's use purple. Okay, so this shift occurs if it is acidosis. So that would remove hydrogen ions. And this would actually function to increase pH. This is the idea of um, bicarbonate ions being buffers, buffers. And so this would be alkalosis where your blood becomes too basic and it does the exact same, the exact opposite, right? It releases hydrogen ions and it would decrease blood pH. So our blood pH, remember, needs to be around 7.45, but it could be say for example, 7.4 to 7.5, right, or as a range.
And pH is really important because it influences the shape of proteins. And so if your blood became too basic or too acidic, then it's gonna to start to cause proteins to be in your blood to behave differently. And that could um, very easily lead to death. And so this is a buffer system that helps to maintain homeostasis. You don't want your blood pH fluctuating dramatically. You want it to stay about at 7.5.